You guys, I am so sorry. I am just now getting to Vlogmas day number seven. busy today you guys was gonna reach out my camera I realized that there was no memory card in this so I just got home I left my house at like 12 30 today and I had a lesson the lesson went awesome I will fill you guys in on the lesson later and then I had like three hour help with the cathedral so that was awesome we put together the Christmas packets and everything that they need for Christmas this year for the choir and then I literally had to rush home grab my minder and rush over to St. Catherine's because we were singing mass tonight as a choir I wasn't doing any solo work which is fine I just physically was like whoa and I was like 15 minutes late but that's okay I had fun and then I just got home now I got I grabbed a little bite to eat and now I, I decided since I did not really do much today and it's not really I, I mean I could go out venture to Target but I'll save that for tomorrow's vlog I will do a organist Christmas wish list I don't think anyone's done it I'm gonna put my own spin on it I don't know how I'm gonna do it I'm probably just gonna like go through the stuff that I have possibly and maybe some organists can get an idea from it I don't know it's gonna be probably Probably the most corniest thing but hey it'll give you guys footage everything that I mentioned in the video will be down below and I'll put links for it and you guys can go find it and no I'm not sponsored by any of these people guys so as promised here is my attempt to do a beginner organist Christmas wish list okay so I think the foremost and most important thing that you need as an organ I guess an organ student per se at university is going to be your beloved organ shoes I have the men organ shoes because I feel I have a better grip with the puddles than I do with the women's. I don't know why. I've tried the women's. I have the women's in case these break or something happens to them or they just... But I have these. I think these are a size 9 in men's or a size 8 in men's. These have an actual sole on it kind of thing. Like these are all leather and you have this is your heel. These are the women's that I have. I have them as well but I don't use them that much. I also got the men's because I like to wear a different color socks. Well, not different color socks. I wear like bright color socks. If you wear a bright color socks with these, it's not going to look bright, especially. So I like it because those are closed. Like they're a closed thing and these are an open shoe. These are the women's. Nothing special to them. They have a, I guess a smaller heel. They're, I believe these are, okay, these are both organ masters. Gone nothing. I've sworn nothing by organ masters. These, I've had these organ masters for about three months now, four months now, and I love it. I mean, they are the Mary Janes, I think they call them. They have another pair. These were I think $70, $60 and I think these were a little bit more expensive. These were maybe around 70 to 80. I will give a link to everything down below you guys so you guys can see them. Now my next piece of tech I'm probably gonna be very happy with because I just got this recently and it's for my music venture. You guys are probably gonna be like what why you're a beginner organist you don't need it yet. I got the iPad Pro 12.9 inch so I really love this thing thus far. I've only used it a few times. The only only thing I still have to figure out is how to get like a page turner thing or like link it or something. I don't know. I think someone said they had this figured out to a point where they were able to use the page turner and play the organ. So I don't know how they, or maybe it's like near somewhere on the organ that they play or something. I don't know. But this thing has been awesome. I love the screen on this. The screen on this is so huge. I love this with all my life. I'm so glad I got it. It's like, it's fantastic and I love it so much and I can't wait to use it more of my musical journey. And also with that, I recommend a case. This is a Vera Bradley like laptop case and I specifically measured it for the uh, iPad and it actually does fit and, it, and I love it. I love anything Vera. So it's like a big big pocket inside. You fit a lot of cables in here and then you have a front pocket in here as well. But I will try to find this like closest thing to this down in the doll bar so you guys can find it as well. And nothing would be complete without the Apple Pencil. Like you don't need the Apple Pencil but it does make a difference I think a little bit especially when you're like notating your music. This is the Apple Pencil. The Apple Pencil was about a hundred bucks. I got it when I got the iPad itself. Alright, the next are gonna be a couple books that 
this I would help a beginner organist. I personally haven't been using them, but I figure I will use them at some point. They probably will be very helpful. Alright, so the first book is this David Sang Sanger Play the Organ, and it's there's a two-part book to this. This starts literally from the beginning all the way through to like playing some, you know, decently complicated pieces. A lot of pedal work is in here. Unfortunately, based out of England, I had to buy this out of the UK, and I think it cost me like it wasn't expensive, like $34 to get it here, but it took like two, three weeks to get here. This is this is a good beginner book for someone to use. Now, this next book I also I believe I ordered from the UK exactly. I believe this is a very famous organist. It is in Mars Mars Marsden Thomas, and it is her organ practicing book on how to practice the organ efficiently. It's like a 60 page book, but it's, it's I think it was like 15 bucks for this. It was worth it. I still have yet to implement her things that she says in here. It's a really good book. Totally recommend it. The last book that I would recommend is The Organist Manual. This is actually one of my other organ teachers that I have in the area who like she let me borrow this book and I think I saw my director have this book as well. It's The Organist Manual by Roger E. Davis. It looks like it's a nice book. I don't know if they sell this book. It has like a lot of different things about registration. It goes up registration and different pedal techniques and just different, various different things. Okay, and this is probably one of the last things I recommend is this bag to carry your gear. Well, I specifically for my lessons, I carry a backpack. It's just easier for me and I use this for my singing. So this is a Vera Bradley Attachy bag. I love this thing to death. It's seen its years, but I'm using it to like its last thread. And what it is, it's like a backpack. It's kind of like... I've seen a lot of organists around here, especially that I know they have leather bags. Basically, this bag opens up like this, and you have you have like two pockets, and then you have a zipper pocket. That is kind of what I recommend for like the beginner organist. I'm probably thinking there's probably some things I missed out on, but that's what I can think of off the top of my head, and I promised you guys that I would do it, so that is exactly what I figured out. So I wanted to talk about how my lesson went today at the cathedral, and it just still is baffling my mind that how did I get to, you know, being from my old church, you know, next town over to being at the cathedral. That to me right now, guys, is, is beyond my wildest dreams right now. I don't know how I got here. I really don't. I can only say it's only by the grace of God, you know, that I'm here and I just, I can't believe it. It's been such an amazing journey thus far and I cannot wait to see where it goes. So my lesson today went pretty good. We just did piano work. We didn't go into any organ work. We just did strictly piano. I learned a couple new scales. Well, I learned actually a couple new things about scales. I learned there's like an inverted scale, which you go backwards up and you go up or down. And that's supposed to strengthen your fingers too. And then I learned about dominant and a tonic chord. What is made up of which? There's, I think dominant is one, three. If you do one, do a minor, it's a half step middle note to the left. That's how you get a minor. And I was like, I didn't know that. So like little things he's teaching me and then he gave me this whole circle of like, listen to this. So then he gave me this homework. He's like, all right, you are to take, because I'm learning, I already know the C scale, the D scale, and I think I just got the D scale today. He's like, you're gonna take the tonic and the dominant of the C scale and the G scale, and you are going to make a song. And he's like, you just forget about all the rules that are in being Catholic, and I want you to let your imagination fly. And I'm like, I'm like, is this, is this his way of teaching me improv slash composition? I'm like, I can't write a song for my life. So this will be an interesting, interesting week. Tomorrow I'm gonna try to put something together, quote unquote. I don't know. Oh, man, it's, um, if I can put something together for him, I mean, he showed me something, uh, kind of an idea as to like a variation. He made that up on the spot. His improv skills, you guys, I've watched him play during like offertory for a uh, for a Catholic setting. His improv skills are just through the floor. He's so amazing at improv, and I'm like, I guess I have. You guys know I still have my seven to eight lessons for my scholarship. Have him give me stuff to work on because next week is my last lesson. The two his two students that I know are actually have their form for the school on. On Monday, Monday morning. And I think they got two, three to four pieces each to play or something, varying in difficulty. I wish them luck, I really do. And the director's like, you don't have to come. I'm like, yes. That's because I'm not a major student. It, when I am gonna be a major student, you guys are gonna be seeing me prep these pieces for this form, and this form is kind of a big deal. It's not. That is kind of what happened in lessons today. So I'm going to add Vlogmas for day seven here. I'm sorry, this sucked. I tried very badly to make it be good. Have a great night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.